So I got Tango and she's got Little Man. Little Man. <laughs> yeah, little Man's busy. It's gotta be about time. Everybody's on horses now. Everybody but our God. Whoa. Mine's being feisty. He's already trying to fight with Laura's horse and then he, my neighbor over here, trying to get his horse too a little bit. <laughs> Not as out of control as the No, the one's all the way down at the beginning. Like they're overlapping each other. I don't even know what's going on down there. Don't move until the horse in front of you move, then you fall in line. Keep your position at all times. All right? You put them in Pacific positions because of the attitude, all right? <laughs> all right here, let's go. Here we go. Sink the beach. <laughs> <laughs> there was a whole group of people on segways that went by a little bit ago. <laughs> She's like, look, way cooler than people on segways. What's your horse back there doing? <sighs> Laura's house horse back here taking the time. You gotta get some grass. You can see the boat way over there. Not too far away. Oh, he was telling us all about the island. Antigua. What was the name? It was Wally. Well, I did. Well, I did. Well, I did. Maybe. It's, I think it's slang for what they call themselves. Note to self: You got to steer your horse. <laughs> he ran me right into a cactus. <laughs> what were you doing, Tango? Like those cactus there? Yeah, I had a thorn stuck in my kneecap. Might be bleeding a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, here's those Segway people. <laughs> All right, I think we're on the way back to the beach now. Ah, there's the beach. <laughs> Holy crap, it's hot. <laughs> I am sweating. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's free time. Oh no! Jesus, and that scared my horse. Fire! Alright? <laughs> Reason 752. That you don't ride a Segway. <laughs> At least she's okay. That was ridiculous. I hope I got that on camera. That was kind of like crazy all of a sudden. Can you imagine riding something like this across the entire Midwest? <laughs> There's like no way I could travel all the way to the west coast on a horse. Imagine how flat and like hard <laughs> their rear ends had to be. Try to down this angle. Probably just looking at the sky. Probably not all that cool. You know, it smudges all over here. It's hard to... Hold these reins. Hold these cameras. <laughs> and ride at the same time. But it's been a lot of fun. I didn't spend as much time on the beach as I had hoped. Come on, horse. Come on. All right. Jeez, to the left. Come on. He's easy strong. But it's been fairly enjoyable. Not too hot. I mean, it's warm, but there's a good breeze. But they lied about being on the beach. <laughs> the beach was like two minutes. <laughs> oh, my butt, my thighs. Thank God we are getting off these horses. I am tired, sore, <laughs> ready to be in the water. Like All right. Doing a thousand squats riding a horse. Yeah, I feel like I shrunk about a foot. I don't know what this feeling is. <laughs> so in true mountain fashion, I get to an island. The wind's not too crazy today. It's not. It's not great. It's not scary enough that I went and put my drone up. Clouds aren't too crazy. They don't think it's gonna rain right this second. It's a little bit over this way, but not too bad. But I forgot my cord. Forgot my cord that I can plug in to plug my phone in. So I don't remember what the limitations are because I've flown it before without it plugged in to my phone, but it limits you. I wanna say I can only go like 40 feet up and like, a, it may be 40 feet away. I don't even remember. But I'm gonna put the damn drone up in the air. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's been way too windy the first one. The second one, it was storming and way too windy. So this is my first opportunity to get in the air and I don't have all my equipment. But I'm putting it up and I'm gonna get some footage. <laughs> all right.
the rest of the It's hot. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> We're in the back of the van. Our vents are not working. Like, I can feel the air coming from the front, so it's getting here. We're going to get cool eventually. But right now, I am sweaty. That day, I am sweaty. I put on deodorant, and you're welcome. At least she did that. But either way, we're leaving the beach, heading back to the boat. Watch, we're going to go do some shopping. Shotskis! <laughs> One thing I've noticed on this vacation is on the 15th of this month, I am six months cigarettes free. People smoke everywhere, and it's freaking 13th. annoying. No, it was 15th. Yeah, it was the 15th. Mia was born on the 13th. I quit smoking two days after she was born. There's a lot of people who smoke. Yes, a lot of people smoke, and it's everywhere, constantly. The casino stinks badly. I did not realize how bad cigarette smoking really was. The worst is the cigars. Yes, I'll give you that. I am over cigarette smells on this ship. I am over cigarette smells at random places we go on the island. I'm tired of people smoking. I am overly judgmental over it because I quit. <laughs> so unfortunately, Antigua is coming to a close for us. And the Mendeley, Mendeley D. I'm not even sure what that is actually. <laughs> Whatever he's playing. We are getting back on the boat at this point. We did the chops grill tonight, and that ended up being really good. I got the bone-in ribeye. Uh, she got the filet mignon. What was it? Six ounce, six ounce filet mignon. Uh, she did like this big piece of bacon. We got it last time when we were chops on the Harmony of the Seas, and it was just as bad on this ship as it was on the last ship. <laughs> we did not one star. Highly do not recommend. <laughs> <laughs> but um, let's see here. The, what did I do for an appetizer? I did the lobster bisque. I had something else too, I thought. Bread, lobster bisque. Oh, crab cake. I had a crab cake. Crab cake, yeah. But the bone in ribeye was delicious. Five stars. Highly recommend the bone in ribeye. I'll throw some B roll, show you what all that looks like. But it was delicious tonight. What were they again? Red wine, peppercorn, bonese. I'll do the peppercorn. 